Good morning, Bell Dubia, the Palm Springs Public Library. And I have a little friend with me today. You hear, see this in the back? <laughs> this is Fluffy. He is so friendly. <laughs> oh, yes, you want to welcome them to story time? <laughs> yes, we have a great story to start out with. <laughs> fluffy is so fluffy. Oh, my goodness. He's going to enjoy our stories with us today. Okay? We're going to put him down. Right, let's get started. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go ahead and warm up our hands Ooh, and get all the sillies and the shakes. I can clap because it's a great day out there. It really is a beautiful sunny day. And just in case you forgot, if you're at home, if you're at school, say hello and good morning to your teachers, your friends, your parents, your sisters, your brothers. Come on, say hello. Say hello. Good morning. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Good morning. All right, my first story for today is called Dogs by Emily Gravett. And we get to read this by permissions of Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers. Dogs by Emily Gravett. I love dogs. I love big dogs and small dogs. That's a tiny dog. Look how tiny that is. I love tough dogs. Oh, he is so tough. Look at his jowls here. Oh my goodness. Look at his collar. Can you see what's on his collar? He's got little spikes. That's how tough he is. And soft dogs. <laughs> Just like Fluffy, he's so soft. I love dogs that bark. <laughs> and dogs that don't. playing tug of war and dogs that won't look look at this toy you know what type of dog that is a dachshund I love hairy dog just like fluffy he's so hairy Hair goes everywhere, everywhere. Ooh! And ball dogs. This one right here is hairy up front, bald in the back. Stripey dogs. And spotty dogs. I love slow dogs and fast dogs. Ooh, look at them. They're so big and fast. Long legs. Short legs. How many legs are on our dogs? Do you know? You want to count with me? Let's count. One, two, three, Four, but they're not legs. We call them paws, right? Four. What about these big dogs right here? What colors do we see? Do you know what colors? What color is that? Do you remember? Do you remember what color it is? The color of chocolate. Brown, good job. What about this one right here? Right in here. Kind of each dog has a little bit of it here and there. What color is that? Do you know what this color is? Take a look. Ding, 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 ding. Good job. I know you'd know that one. White. White. In Espanol, white is blanco. You see that word? Blanco. Brown is café. Café. We have one more color here. What color is that? I see it all the time. 
You're right, black. En español, brain power, negro, negro, black. Ooh, look at this dog. Ooh, 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 ooh. this is a shabby, shabby dog. Ah, look at that. Where has he been playing? What's he been doing? Where has he been looking? Yeah, you got it. In the trash can. Ooh, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Hoochie dog. Ugh. And sheep dogs. Ooh, we had a fancy poodle. She's so chic. What color is she? What color is our poodle? Pink. Very good. Very good. Rosita. Pink. Rosita. I love dogs that are good. Oh, look at that dog. He has a slipper in his mouth. Whoa. Helping his master. Eat his slippers. And dogs that are bad. Uh-oh. Looks like he chewed that other slipper up all the way. Look at that. What a mess. But the dog that I love best. Hmm, let's see. Do you want to choose your favorite dog? There's plenty to choose from. Big and small. Short and tall. Wow, there's a lot to choose from. There's a lot in our story. Look at that. Look at all of them. but all very happy. Is any dog ruff, 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 that won't chase me? <coughs> <coughs> what type of animal is that? Do you know? Can you see? <laughs> oh, poor kitty cat. Yes, it's a cat. It's a cat. <laughs> but they're just having fun. They're just having fun. And that is the end of that. Here we have here a Great Dane. That was a huge dog. Remember how tall that was? Here we have a Dachshund, a little small little dog. Here we have a Sharpe, a Bichon Fries, an Airedale, all kinds of dogs. We have all kinds of names. At the beginning of our story, we also had a nice picture of other dogs too. There's a Poodle pug dog, a bull terrier, a Chinese crested, a bulldog, and a Dalmatian. All kinds of dogs in our story. I had a great story. Dogs by Emily Gravett. Whoa, isn't that fantastic? All right, let's go ahead and stand up. I'm gonna do little songs here. Um, oh. All right. We get together, 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 the happier we'll be. Friends, right? Are your friends? The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Then we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. There's Chris and Tanya, Matthew and Eva. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Okay, are you ready to sing now? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. <laughs> Fluffy has so much fun with that song. All right, our next story is going to be the apple pie that Papa baked. And this story is written by Lauren Thompson and illustrated by Jonathan Bean. And our story can be read to you with permissions by Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers. Apple.
apple pie that Papa baked. Ooh, it's early morning, the sun is rising. This is the pie, warm and sweet, that Papa baked. Ooh, doesn't that look delicious? Ooh, can you pretend to smell that? Oh, cinnamon and apples and sugar and flour, delicious. Especially with the ice cream on top. Oh, that little girl, it is time to wake up, time to work. Ooh, looks like Papa has a ladder. All right, little girl runs out. <laughs> cock a doodle doodle does that rooster, meaning it's time to get up. You see this animal right here? Do you know what type of animal that is? <laughs> That's the kind of sound it makes. No, do you know? It has four legs. Yes, you're right. It's a horse. A very big horse. These are the apples. Oh, don't they look delicious? Juicy and red. That went in the pie. Warm and sweet. That Papa baked. This is the tree, crooked and strong, that grew the apples juicy and red, that went in the pie, warm and sweet, that Papa baked. So you'll notice we have a lot of lines that repeat. Now, if you can remember them, you can repeat them with me. Ooh, look at her standing up on her horse. These are the roots. Deep and fine. That fed the tree. There we go, nice big tree. Crooked and strong. That grew the apples. Juicy and red. Very good. That went in the pie. Warm and sweet. That Papa baked. And this is the rain. Can you be the rain? Cool and fresh. That watered the roots deep and fine. That fed the tree crooked and strong. That grew the apples juicy and red. That went in the pie warm and sweet. That papa baked. These are the clouds, heaped and round, that drop the rain, cool and fresh, that water the roots, <clears throat> deep and fine, that fed the tree, crooked and strong. You can see from here, it's a little crooked there. That grew the apples, Juicy and, what color again? You got it, red. That went in the pie, warm and sweet. That Papa baked. So as you can see here, Papa and the little girl have picked the apples, taken them inside the house, and now it's time to peel them for the apple pie. It's a lot of work making the pie. Look who's looking in the window. Can you tell me who's looking in the window? What animals are they? Let's see, let's see. Let's count them, are you ready? One, black cat. Two, a rooster. Three, a pig. Four, a cow. Five, a horse. 
you can't see that, but right up top, 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 on top of the cow and on the windowsill are four birds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine animals are in the window. I think they want some apple pie too. You think they'll get some? Let's find out. This is the sky wide and fair that carried the clouds heaped and sound round that dropped the rain cool and fresh that watered the roots deep and fine that fed the tree crooked and strong that grew the apples juicy and red that went in the pie that papa baked you see here the little girls i don't know where she's going do you think you have an idea where she's going maybe they need some more apples for the pie let's find out this is the sun how many suns are there how many you got it one uno one oh the sun fiery and bright that lit the sky wide and fair, that carried the clouds heaped and round, that dropped the rain, <laughs> cool and fresh, that watered the roots deep and fine, that fed the tree crooked and strong, that grew the apples juicy and red, that went in the pie warm and sweet, that Papa baked. They're going somewhere with that pie. This is the world. Boy, what a huge world it is there, right? This is the little girl's world. Wow, look how huge that is. Blooming with life. Can you spy the apple tree? Can you find the hoard? The haystack? Let's count the haystacks. Let's see how many there are. You ready? One. Two, three, four, five haystacks. Five haystacks. All right, you ready for some brain power? Some brain power? Let's do it in Spanish. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Son uh, cosas de pajas. Paja. All right. Costales de paja. You want some extra super duper brain power en français? Oui, yes, yes, en français, oui. Are you ready? Let's do it. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, cinq. Oh, those animals are just having so much fun following Papa with the apple pie. That spins with the sun, fiery and bright, that lights the sky wide and fair, that carry the clouds heaped and round, that drops the rain, <laughs> cool and fresh. I think Papa's playing follow the leader with the apple pie. He's just gone all the way around. The waters, the roots deep and fine, that fed the tree crooked and strong, that grows the apples juicy and red, that go in the pies warm and sweet, that Papa baked. This is the pie, mm, mm, mm. warm and sweet that Papa baked. It looks delicious and it sure is huge. And look, you can even, <gasps> you smell a cinnamon. <gasps> Just pretend imagination, imagination time. Cinnamon. What else is in our pie? Apples, right? Manzanas, apples, apples. Mmm, sugar. Mmm, flour. <gasps> Good job, Papa. For me. <laughs> Let 
Look at the animals. Can you see? When she said for me, you see their faces? Oh, what about us? <laughs> oh, but I think she's going to share. Don't worry, you'll get some. I think that's what she was telling them. You'll get some. And they look happy now. Oh boy, and for you. So she did share the apple pie with her fr animal friends. <laughs> Look at the face of the cow. <laughs> Very happy. The end. So they ate their pie underneath the apple tree. And now it's time for a nap. Oh, so that is the end of that. The apple pie that Papa baked by Lauren Thompson and illustrated by Jonathan Bean. Oh, that was a great story. I like that one too. It made me hungry. How about you? Tengo <laughs> hambre. Go ahead and stand up and do another song. Are you ready? Are you ready? Remember our head, shoulders, knees, and toes? We're going to do that. Ready? Just remember it's the head, shoulders, knees, and toes, eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. Beep, beep, or beep, beep. Okay, you ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, my eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Beep, beep. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Hmm, I wonder if we could do it faster. You want to try fast? Do it fast? You ready? Ready? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, my eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Beep, beep. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Whoa, very good. Did you keep up with me? Good job, good job. Let's do another nursery rhyme. I don't want to sit down for this one. We're going to sing it in English, and then we'll sing it also in Spanish. It's Itsy Bitsy Spider. You know that one? You do that with me, we'll do it. It's called Finger Place. And we're going to, this is our spider. This is how I do my spider going out the spout. In the rain, we do that in our book. Rain. And then sun, and I do a little like this, going up. And then we have the spider go back up again. Are you ready? All right. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Again, 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 again. In español. La pequeñita renita subió, subió, subió. Vino la lluvia y se la llevó. Salo el sol y subió, subió, subió. Y la pequeñita renita subió, subió, subió. Good job, good job, boy, great brain power, I love it. Okay, our next story that I want to share with you is called, Again! And you have to say it just like that. Again! Let me hear you. Louder, they need to hear you again, but down the block, ready? Again! There you go. This is also a story written by Emily Gravett. That means that also Emily did the illustrations for this story. So that means cha-ching, cha-ching to the bank. All right, now this story, is read to you by permissions of, once again, Simon Schuster Books for Young Readers. Again! As you can see, what kind of critter do we have in our story? What kind of critter is that? What is that? I don't think I've ever seen one of those. Have you? Hmm. It's a little dragon. So this story has a dragon in it. Again! By Emily Graff. It was nearly bedtime. <gasps> How many dragons do we see in our story today? 
Are you ready to come with me? One big mama dragon. Two a baby dragon. What color are our dragons? Do you know what color is that? Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. You got it, green. Very good, I heard you green. Oh my goodness, and look at the wings on these dragons. How many wings do they have? Can you tell? Maybe we can see a little bit better here. One, two wings. They each have two wings. Oh my goodness, and what is this long thing? What is this? Do you know what that is? Mama, we can't see mamas right now, but I'm sure it's a very, very long. You, you, think, 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 think. What is that? What is that? You got it, a tail. Two wings and a tail and they're green. What's the baby dragon holding up? Can you see? Yes, yes, you got it. It's a book, un libro, a book. And what color is our book? Red, a red book, rojo. In Espanol, it's rojo. Look at this. Got a blankie and a pillow because it's bedtime. And that's a good time for stories, right? Right. Cedric the dragon, a bright angry red. He's never his whole life, not once, been to bed. At nighttime when everyone else is asleep, he noisily prowls through the tower, then leaps down to the bridge to be nasty and sly meant the trolls who by nature are shy when that makes him hungry he takes to the skies grabbing princesses to turn into pies <gasps> or occasionally crumbles or sometimes just toast hmm? if crumbles or pies would take too long to roast at the end of each day, he shouts out this refrain, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll do it all over again. Ooh, that story sounds scary. Did that sound scary to you? Hmm, let's keep going, let's see what else happens. <gasps> again! <gasps> Little dragon wants that story read again. Look at Mama. What's Mama going to say? Let's find out. <clears throat> Cedric the dragon, a bright angry red. He's never his whole life, not once, been to bed. At night time when Cedric should be asleep, should, he noisily stomps through the tower, then leaps down to the bridge to say, a big sorry for teasing the trolls who tend to worry for things. And when that makes him hungry, he takes out a pie, which he shares with the trolls. Then heaving a sigh, he goes home to his tower and shouts out this refrain, tomorrow I'll do it all over again. Oh, look at little dragon. He just loved that story. But if you listened, if you heard, there were a few changes. Mama made a few changes. Not so scary anymore. A little more friendly. Again! <gasps> little dragon wants the story read again. Oh, he's even pulling on Mama's tail so she can't leave. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh. Cedric the dragon's a big sleepy head. He's decided it's time. He was really in bed. He's made friends with the princess and wished her good night. The trolls are all happy. The moon is all bright. Now I'm closing the book and saying quite plain, tomorrow I'll read it all over again. Oh, I'm tired. Again! 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 
dragon's getting a bit too loud, isn't he? Oh, a little bit too bossy, isn't he? Ooh, let's find out what happened. I can't wait. Cedric the dragon is no longer red. And Cedric the dragon asleep in his <gasps> See dragon's face? What happened to mama? What happened to mama? Can you tell? Oh, mama's asleep. Mama's asleep. Everybody else in the story's asleep too. Who's still awake? Do you know? Who's still awake? You got it, little dragon. And look at his face. What color is it? You got it. It's red, just like the book. Sure is mad. Look, you remember he was green at the beginning of the story? And now what color is he? Take a look and look. He's red. Royal red. And mama, she's out. Again, 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 again! has to go. And that is the end of that. Again by Emily Gravitt. <laughs> Little dragon, naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> Let's go ahead and stand up and do a, another song called Down by the Bay. to do down by the bay. All right, we have one last story and I'm going to be doing this one in Espanol, in Spanish. You can go ahead and follow along with me maybe, learn some more Spanish, Espanol, super duper breakdown. This story is called, <clears throat> este cuento se llama, y esto lo voy a leer totalmente en Espanol. Este libro está disponible aquí en la biblioteca de Palm Springs, el título es Prepárate, kindergarten. Allá voy. Por el autor, Nancy Carlson. And this book is read by permissions by Viking. Con permiso de leer este libro por Viking. <clears throat> Wake up, dear. Wake up. Despierta. Cariño, despiértate, hijo, dijo la mamá de Henry. He llegado el día. Espera en el kindergarten. Ay, oh boy, qué bien. Vámonos, oh, ah, saltó Henry. Había estado esperando este día durante todo el año. Espera. Not so fast, espera. Le dijo su mamá. Primero tienes que lavarte y vestirte. 
¿Qué clase de animal es Enrique, Henry? Son ratoncitos, ¿verdad? Aquí está la mamá. Aquí está Enrique. Uh, me va soltando aquí en la cama. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? <ríe> A veces sí, ¿verdad? A veces sí. Henry se cepilló los dientes como le había enseñado el, el dentista. Y se lavó detrás de las orejas. A ver, cepilla tus dientes. Muy bien, en eh, ruedas. Y a ver, detrás de las orejas, ¿cómo la vas? A ver, a ver, ¿aló? Acá, o acá también. Tienes dos orejas, ¿verdad? Dos. Okay. Muy bien, muy bien. Después se abotonó la camisa, se puso los vaqueros y casi consiguió atarse, atarse el solo los cordones de los zapatos. A veces es muy difícil aprender eso, ¿verdad? Oh, mira nomás, hay otra ratoncita. ¿Quién será? ¿Quién será? Uh, me a lo mejor la hermanita, ¿verdad? Con el chupito. El chupón. Todavía tiene chupón. <risa> ¿Cuántos zapatos tiene Enrique? Henry. ¿Cuántos zapatos tiene? Vamos a contar. ¿eh? Uno, dos. A ver, en inglés. ¿Lo puedes decir en inglés? A ver, uno. One, two. Ah, muy inteligente. Sabes dos idiomas. ¿Quieres saber más que dos idiomas? Que no en francés. Es, a ver, a ver, a ver si aprendes. Un, dos. ¿Sí? Un, dos. Un, dos, dos zapatos. Muy bien. Mira nomás. Tú que estás aprendiendo. Genial eres. Bueno, ya estoy listo para ir al kindergarten. Dijo Enrique Henry. Espera, le dijo su mamá. Antes tienes que desayunar. Muy importante desayunar en la mañana. Enrique se comió tres panqueques. A ver cuántos, a ver cuántos. Uno, dos, tres panqueques. One, two, three pancakes. Y un plato de frutas. Y se bebió un vaso de leche. ¡Ay, qué rico! ¿Te encantan panqueques? A mí también. También fruta. Fruta es muy importante. Y luego, ¿un vaso de qué? ¿Un vaso de qué? Un vaso de leche. One glass of milk. ¡Ya está! Dijo Enrique. ¡Espera! ¡Espera! Respondió su mamá. Todavía tienes que preparar tus cosas. Oh, sí, es muy importante preparar las cosas, ¿verdad? Sí. Enrique metió en la mochila lápices. A ver, ¿cuántos lápices hay? Vamos a contar. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Cuatro lápices. A ver, en inglés. Uno, one, dos, two, three, Four, four lápices. A ver qué colores son. Muy bien, rojo. ¿Y este color? A ver, a ver. Amarillo. ¿Y este aquí? Azul. Muy bien. A ver, ¿lo conoces estos colores en inglés? A ver, a ver. ¿Qué color? Red. ¿Y estos dos aquí? ¿Qué color? Ah, yellow. Very good. ¿Y, y este aquí? ¿Qué color? Blue. Muy bien, muy bien. So, cuatro lápices, tijeras. A ver, estos son las tijeras. ¿Qué color son? Azul, ¿verdad? Creolas. Papel. Pegamento. Y una manzana. Qué rico se ve el manzana, ¿verdad? ¿Qué color es el manzana? ¿Qué color? ¿En español? Muy bien, rojo. ¿En inglés? A ver, a ver, ¿en inglés? No te oigo. Red. Muy bien. Ah, ¿y en francés? Rouge. <risa> Rouge. Muy bien. Una foto de mamá y papá. Ay, qué bonito detalle. Por si se sentía solo. 
Y ahora sé que está listo, dijo Enrique. Ahora van todos con entre familia a dejar el niño, Enrique. O el ratoncito Enrique en la escuela. ¿Qué crees que haremos primero? Preguntó Enrique. ¿Dibujar? Oh, sí, claro, respondió su mamá. ¿Cómo hacemos en casa? ¡Ay, qué bien! Dijo Enrique. ¿Y qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más van a hacer? Vamos a ver. Seguro que te enseñan el abecedario, dijo su mamá. A, B, C, D, E, F. ¿Te acuerdas de esa canción? Muy bien, muy bien, sí. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Ajá, sí. Ya me sé las letras de mi nombre, respondió Enrique. ¿Y qué haremos después? Ahí está Enrique escribiendo su nombre. Él lo está escribiéndolo en inglés. Se dice Henry. Aquí tiene un H, un E, un R, un N, un U, Y. Mira bueno, nomás. Puede escribir su nombre. ¿Y tú puedes escribir tu nombre también? Ay, pues qué bueno. Pues, pero si no, practica, practica. Uh, cantaron canciones. Oh, McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a dove, E-I-E-I-O, with a roof, 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 roof. Oh, my goodness. Y jugaron. Uh, están jugando con un pelota grandote, ¿verdad? Upa, es grandísimo. Y aprendieron a contar, dijo su mamá. Mira, aquí son los números. A ver, ¿qué número tiene la maestra? Este aquí, tiene dos. Es el número dos, uno, dos. En este lado tiene el número tres, uno, dos, tres. Están aprendiendo, miren nomás, wow. Uno, una, dos, tres flores. Mira nomás aquí. Tres flores. Muy bien, muy bien. Dijo Henry. Enrique dice contar hasta diez porque practicamos con, contando botones. Y después, ¿qué haremos? Oh, divertidas manualidades y le dan cuentos pero yo no sé leer dijo Enrique no te preocupes le dijo su mamá primero escucharás y luego aprenderás y así es primero escucharás y luego aprenderás Ya hemos llegado, dijo la mamá de Henry, Enrique. ¡Oh, qué grande es! exclamó Enrique. ¿Y si me pierdo? ¡Ay! Recuerda que encontraremos tu clase y tú la cierro y el día que venimos de visita, dijo su mamá. Pero siempre puedes pedirle ayuda a algún maestro. Muy, muy bueno eso, sí, ¿verdad? Pide la maestra, un maestro. Cuando Enrico llegó a su clase y vio tantas caras nuevos, dijo, ¡Quiero irme a casa! ¡Oh, no! Miren más. No quiere quedarse. Oh, ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Vamos a saber qué pasa. ¿Por qué no me entras un momento? 
le dijo su maestra, la señor, señorita Bradley. Enrique miró a su alrededor. Vio que había un rincón para pintar. Aquí están las pinturas. También vio letras. Aquí están las letras. Y números que conocía. ¿Recuerdas los números? Y una estantería llena de libros. Y encontró a una amiga con quien jugar. Bueno, ¿qué te parece? Le preguntó su mamá. Creo que me quedaré un rato, mamá. Dijo Enrique. Un rato. El kindergarten va a ser muy divertido. <risas> y aquí está. Todos en el salón del clase para una foto por primer día. Prepárate, kindergarten. Allá voy. Por Nancy Carlson. Wasn't that a great story? ¿Te divertaste? Muy bien, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer una canción. Boys and girls, I know that I'm reading the stories to you and I do sound effects and I count and we check for colors. And that just means that you're also learning to read as well, little by little. So let's do our little champion reader song. You ready? Are you ready? You gotta show me your muscles and you gotta jump. Okay, are you ready? Now you gotta say this a minute. I'm a champion reader. Woo! I'm a champion reader. Woo! I'm a champion reader. Woo! Well, that's the end of my story time for today. I hope to see you again next week. And remember, go to our website, www.palmspringslibrary.org. Check out Kids Oasis. Check out our library of GoGo, -Go, because we can still give you books by appointment, okay? And you can come pick them up, all right? And don't forget to check out our Read a Thousand Books Before Kindergarten using our Beanstack app, all right? Thank you. Goodbye.